Today I've got 30 tips for you, tips, ways for you to pose people who aren't models. And why on earth should you care what I have to say and who the heck am I? I'm Jordan Britley. Tommy Pretty named me a world-renowned photographer, so they had a major photography crush on me. I know some things and I want to share them with you. I've got 30 things coming up. Headed to a shoot today. I have my a few flashes, a reflector, my 5D Mark III in here with a 50 this on. bag holds all of my other lenses. Woo. Tip number one, when I'm starting, I really want to loosen them up and get them comfortable. So I'll have them lean on something, hug each other, sit down, anything that makes them feel a little bit more grounded. So if you're working in an urban area, have them lean up against a wall. It looks like I have this cliff, you know, in this ledge. I just had her sit on that. The composition looked great. I knew those shots were going to work. We already had a table set up there. But you don't always have to use the first shots. The first shots are just to get them comfortable. Tip two, I love to give them something to hold. So in some of these shots, I had her hold onto her dress or her hair and had her turn away. And this also works because it creates like an editorial photo, something vendors can use. I could have had her hold a candle from the table. Obviously a bouquet would work. Her hat, touching anything like that is gonna help her to feel a little bit more calm and natural. Tip three, so this couple pulls up. I've never met them before. I've been shooting the details. They've been getting ready. And I walk over and when it's time to shoot, I introduce myself. I tell them we're gonna have fun. Like I just lay the expectation for them. I always tell people before we get started that I'm gonna walk them through everything. I'll tell them exactly what to do. And then as they become more comfortable to make it their own, do their own thing. So if I tell them to put their hand in their hair but they really feel like doing it down here, then just make it happen. Do whatever feels natural to them. And I think that really gives them the freedom to, like I think they always do what I say, but I think for some reason that just helps them to lighten up. Like they can't do anything wrong and communicating that is huge. I definitely needed some shots of that hat for the florist and designer, so I had her look, turn away and look down, and then I turned to my angle, moved over, and shot from behind. This acts as a detail shot, and then it also just gives the model, or the non-model, a break, lets her think, okay, I don't have to be on right now, I can just relax. Asking for a serious look or a serious face is always a good move. If you feel like they get stiff, you can also ask for a soft smile, but I like asking for both of these things regardless, because I feel like I get really good personality shots, not necessarily in the exact pose, but in the shots surrounding it. So serious face and they shift into a more natural, natural looking pose. Tip six, telling them, hey, you guys have a happy flirty moment. I'm just going to photograph this bouquet or I'm just going to photograph this hat. And it gives you a chance to get those editorial shots that'll be great for submissions, great for vendors, great for your own blog posts and marketing materials. So they're going to start cutting up, start having fun. And then I just snag a few pictures of them and that puts the detail in the foreground it creates this really great movement in the image. Tip seven, I'm not against asking someone to laugh. My favorite way obviously is getting them to laugh on their own, but if I can't do that or don't have time for that, then here's what I like to do. I like to ask them to close their eyes and then laugh. And I get a much more natural laugh and they'll end up opening their eyes and looking at me and it's just very genuine. And having them close their eyes takes down some walls. Lost the charge of my battery. Thankfully, I had another one. Oh, back to it. And we'll just move this. I was sitting here before I did my video having a snack. I don't know if you've ever had these before. Best dessert ever. I try to be dairy free. I try as hard as I possibly can. Number eight, something over the shoulder. You can have her look down, then look up at you. And this is a great time to transition to number nine, which is to have her turn all the way around so she's not facing you at all. Gives her eyes a break from the camera, which is important if you want that natural look. And then also a great time if you have a bouquet, a hat, any kind of prop, have them hug that prop. You don't even have to photograph that prop. Obviously, if you have a okay, that's a great shot. But having them hug it, it's going to relax someone. And then while you have her turned away from you, you can also get any details that she's holding. Then have her hug those details. Get more shots of the details, over the shoulder shots of her, detail shots of her, like with just her eyelashes and focus, side shot here. Things like that work really well. Number 11, I had them stand next to each other with him behind her and asked him to hold her. Then I asked him to kiss her cheek and things like that. They're laughing, he's holding her waist, so they're kind of naturally moving together. Also a great time for a forehead kiss. Have her turn around. I don't really stick to a traditional posing model. I prefer to direct them. So to tell them, hey, walk here and do these things whenever you are on your way to that spot or turn around and I want you to do these five things, especially as they become more comfortable. So at the beginning, it's probably a little bit more sit down, look at me, smile, soft smile, over the shoulder, those kinds of things. And then as the shoot goes on, I can give them a list of things to do. And it's just really natural. They'll forget some of them and naturally 
naturally make some of them their own. And look at him with a smile kiss, and that's number 14. Number 15, I backed up for this shot so that I could get the whole scene, especially with those lady lines coming in from, I'm gonna call it a cliff, it's not technically a cliff, the rock area. That's a leading line coming into them. I had them hold hands in the back so she could still hold on to the bouquet. Just had him put his hand on her hip and give her a kiss. And always have them kiss on the back side. Whenever she smiles, you can see it in the camera. Number 16, use that. Ask them to dance away from you so that her back is to you. Take some shots like that and then have them hide behind a prop. If you have anything like an umbrella or hat, anything like that, have her stick that over her shoulder, hold it back here so that you can photograph those details. And then also it's just a really cute intimate shot. Number 17, shoot from far away and make sure you get enough of these shots because they'll complement your blog post. They work great in editorial pieces. Number 18, do the no step walk. So that's where they're holding hands. They're not really walking. They're just creating the walking movement by stomping with their feet apart. So kind of like this, just back and forth. Number 19, have them walk away and come back towards you. You can mix this in obviously with your far away shot, but just having them walk towards you and walk away again. More shots, you can follow them, you can stay put, whatever works into what you're gonna do next. Number 20, this is a go-to for me. Can you sniff her ear? Can you get really close to her and sniff her ear? And I always get the best reactions. Ooh, this is a good one for the ladies. Number 21, ask her to close her eyes and think of a word that describes her. And when she thinks of a word, then to open her eyes and say the word. And you will get this really strong, fierce kind of look, or you know, a giggly look. Whatever personality she has, that's just gonna overflow into this photo. Number 22, give her two things to do with her hands. So touch her hair and touch her dress and look down. You could have her touch her hat with a little chin tilt here. Number 23, have her touch buttons on her shirt, have her touch her sleeve, do something here. You can always have her reach her hand up and touch her shoulder and then say, great, can you grab your hair and just turn it towards me? It's gonna look a little bit more natural in camera. Number 24, have them sit together. If I have time in the shoot, I love to do something like this, especially at the end as the sun is going down or just as they're finishing, as we're wrapping up the session, it's a really nice sweet shot. Number 25, while they were sitting down, I had him kiss her shoulder and then her cheek. It's a really Really nice sweet look number 26 have her reach up and touch his face which just helps to frame the whole image so that your eye doesn't really stop it just kind of keeps circling through the image as the shoot goes on I like to be less specific so instead of saying sit here do this do all of these things I like to just say hey sit together and snuggle and then I go around I look at all the different sides to see which what side I want to shoot from and from there I can give them specific instructions like reach up and touch his face kiss her cheek if it's needed but otherwise I can just let them be number 30 Ask them to walk in a really specific path. Okay, I want you to walk in an S shape toward that tree. Then give them prompts along the way, or you can say, I want you to spin her when you get to about here. And that gives you a chance to step back, get some faraway shots. You can follow them if you want. But the key at the end is for them to get as many steps as possible. So for them to just be moving their feet as much as possible, that's gonna create a lot more movement. They're gonna look different places. They'll spin, they'll look around, they'll look at you, and they'll engage a little bit more. Then when you have them walk back to you doing those things, you can give them prompts at the end. I actually did this in my shoot with my sister. It's the video where I compare the 50 millimeter against the 85 millimeter and one of those clips ever walk toward me. At the end I say okay over your shoulder good and give her some extra prompts. If you want to see that video I'll link it down below. The key with posing even if you're doing something incredibly modern or kind of like out of this world you want it you want your model to be relaxed so they can really own whatever it is that they're doing. So if you see them get uncomfortable you switch it up that's the time to move to a different one of these other things especially if you see them get real uncomfortable and they just can't lighten up. If you see any nervous twitching, any shaking, eye flutterings, anything like that, extra blinking, that's a time when you can step away. You can say, okay, I'm gonna have you go over there. We're gonna take a big shot. And it just helps them to have some space away from the camera. So anytime you see those nervous ticks, just have them look away from the camera. It gives their eyes a break and they don't feel as overwhelmed by staring at a lens. And I wanna hear from you what your favorite pose is. What's your favorite way to pose, people? Comment down below and let me know. Okay, while you're sharing your comment down below. We're gonna figure out who won this planner. This one right over here. We're gonna do a random number generator to see who wins it. Okay, got the winner. Drum roll. The cheesy probably. And the winner is Melissa Polaramo. Polaramo. Girl, beautiful name. I'm butchering it. Tell me how I should say your name. I will reach out. I'll comment on your post. Get you this planner if you want to know 
how I combine my goals and my planner all in one. Here's how I do it. I did not make this thing. The brilliant people over at Michael Hyatt did, and I've got a video for you on how I how I use this. Like every day of my life. I love this thing. Got a video for you. I'll link it down in the description. I am cheering you on big time. Until next time, like things, share things. I'm cheering you on. That was a lot of things.